you like to garden now? Uh, I like the eating part from them. <laughs> you like the last step of gardening? But, uh, this, this is the part about gardening that is isn't it? most pleasant. But... Here Floyd, you want this? Did you like the beans? There's one right behind him there. I just they throw that out. Yeah, I don't think they like it. They might like them cooked. Yeah. Good morning everybody, this is Grizzly Nate from the Kramer Life and today it's the day after Labor Day. Katie is back to work, her vacation is over. Um, we've been here about a week over at her mom's house in Omaha, Nebraska and we've been working on getting Katie's mom's house and her stepdad's house ready to put on the market and for them to downsize. Uh, she spent a lot of time with her mom selling things, donating things, cleaning the house. Uh, I helped by just moving things. Katie and her mom were the mastermind behind it all. So now Al and I, Al is Katie's stepfather. Um, we are out in the garden in the yard just doing some work. We just removed the beans from the uh, fence line and I think we're going to be going down and doing some other um, small items, small tasks in the garden to clean up a little bit. So take out the squash. Yeah, we we'll take all of this out. Okay. Does she want to take any of the squash that's kind of developing? You want? That's no good, is it? I don't know. I don't think it is. So now we're going to go down to the back of the property where we have some where we have some trees that have fallen down in a recent uh, storm and we're going to cut those and put them in the back of the truck and take them to a, uh, a location in town that takes yard waste. We're going to load these in the back of the truck. I can put it into the back of my truck. This room. Oh yeah, it's empty. Well, let's saw it up first and then... That's what I was thinking. If we do it small enough that we can just throw it in the back yeah. of the truck. So you you saw and I'll move it out. Well, that looks a lot better, doesn't it, Al? It really does. Good. We're going to leave the rest of it for mm -hmm. an arborist to come back yeah. and do the work because I, if uh, you see, this branch goes all the way up 
and it's split at the top up there yeah. and nothing's holding it on so we're not going to touch that one we'll leave that one How much it would take to fill the truck? Uh, we could do quite a bit more. Truck's pretty big. Most of you load that on. Uh huh. You want to do that today? Sure. Let me go get the truck. I guess we'll start loading it. All right. Well, look at this. We got a lot cleared out. This is awesome. We're going to be taking this to a local yard debris drop off. Uh, and then we need to sharpen that chainsaw and we can get the rest of it. that Good job, Al. Good we got job. a lot done. Good job for you. I think we Good need this job. saw sharpened again, but. Okay, so we have this door that goes down to the basement that when you open it up, it catches right here on the door jam. So we're gonna adjust that. So I think what I'm gonna do is just 
scrape down the edge of the door here and also the door jam the edge of the door jam here There's also a little bit of play on the hinge here on the door frame and I can actually squeeze it closer to the wall which then takes the door and moves it this way away from this edge here. So I think I'm going to try and tighten this up a little bit. You can see where the door hinge screws into the door frame. We have some cracking. So I'm gonna drive a nail through here and through here to pinch those together. And then I'm gonna drive a nail here and here to hold it more firm to the door jam, to the wall, to the two by fours, to the framing. much better. Now what I need to do is shave down where the door hits, where the door latch hits, so it closes easier. It opens and closes nice and smoothly now. No more sticking. Sweet, that is great. So um, I think that might be it for the projects. So we may see you on the next video.